Blue Moon is our Jack style cheese. It's aged about three to four weeks. Our motto is better for the animal, better for the environment, better for you. If anybody was going to install propane now, I would advise against it. Awesome. <laughs> Hi, I'm Albert Roberts. I'm Carrie Hunter. And we own and operate Pine Stump Farms. This is the chicken mobile. We raise fryers in here and a few of the replacement layers. We get chickens in April and raise them until May. This is an accordion door that lets down, folds out, is a ramp, and the chickens can come out when they're about oh, four weeks of age. We have Premier One electric fencing. We make a yard for them. We move it about three times in a season, and they'll eat uh, the lamb's quarters and the weeds around. And it makes a lot of difference in the quality of the meat that we get. Trying to move this around is quite difficult if you're only by yourself, so we have made this reel up here and you can just reel it up and unreel it where you want it and then I put uh, the, the battery, the solar charger and the, and the charger panel on there and once this is rolled out it just has two clips on there and you take your lead wires and clip them on and you're ready to go. So when we got this house, uh, this section here was just on uh, stone and wood blocks, so I raised it up, poured a slab and foundation, but before then, I excavated here, and right here there's a 4,000 gallon steel tank here, and then the water from the washing machine and the bathtub, and that comes down and into this tank. And then when I did the foundation, I, I poured the slab extra wide, and from here, when I finish the rest of the stonework, this will have a filter so all the rainwater coming off the roof will then also go into this tank. I just have a series of channels and little ditches that run around. I can just move the dirt and open up different ditches to water different parts of the garden. It's got a valve there that you turn to actually open it to inlet. It's a U-shaped plug flow, which means that you put material in and it moves down as you put more material in, goes back down the other side, and then there's an outlet. We had figured we probably have to bury this system somehow to insulate it. Bury it to insulate it, either that or put it inside your solarium. That's my cheese room. <laughs> you, you wouldn't want to do I, that here. Could we bury it with like five foot well tiles, cement well, well tiles, so there'd be enough room to still work and access exactly. the unit? So, and, and that's one of the things I said on the bus. The one key issue that we really couldn't resolve with design had to do with temperature regulation. Yeah. It gets too cold here. Nice warm day in the summertime, you'll see this, you'd see a system like this work really well. But basically, your options are bury it, put it inside some kind of a greenhouse system, or we need our, our microbiologist to go back and get us bugs that work in cold temperatures. Mm -hmm.